Hey booktube, my name's Sean and welcome to my new channel Eclectic Reads. I thought for my first video I would do the new to booktube tag so maybe you can get to know just a little bit about me as we get into this. The new to booktube tag was created by Trina over at Between Chapters and I'll link her original video in the description below. So here we go. Question one, where are you joining us from? I am joining from the Metro Detroit area of Michigan. Question number two is how old are you? I'm 39 and I'll actually be 40 in just a few months here at the end of September. Question number three is why did you join BookTube? And I joined BookTube I think for the same reason we all have joined BookTube. It's a just awesome community of people who just want nothing more than to share their passion for books and their passion for reading. And that's something that was missing in my reading life. I really got back into reading this year. I wanted to make a more concentrated effort because I, I love it and had gotten away from it and wasn't reading a whole lot. I mean, I was still reading 20 or so books in a year, but I really wanted to get back to where I used to be with reading. And the real hard part about that was is I didn't have anybody to really talk about books to. My wife doesn't read. Um, I have friends that read, but they don't necessarily read the same things that I read. So I didn't really have anywhere to discuss and share that passion that I have for, for reading. And even some of my friends that do read, they don't necessarily have the passion for it that I do. So when I discovered BookTube in January, I thought, this is awesome. This is a this is a, just a really great community that's sharing their passion for books. And I decided I wanted to become more involved. I wanted to make videos instead of just commenting here and there on people's, other people's videos. I figured the best way to really immerse myself and, and make friends with other booktubers is to make my own videos. And, and hopefully they see them and comment on mine and, just start to form relationships with other people in the booktube community and uh, I mentioned it that I was thinking about it to Julie at uh, a girl in a book I'll link her channel down below and she kind of encouraged me to do it so here I am question number four is what is the meaning behind your channel name I wanted a name that spoke to who I am as a reader um, and I read a lot of different types of things. So I felt that Eclectic Reads really spoke to that. Question number five. What types of books do you read want to talk about here? As I mentioned, I read a lot of different things. Um, probably 70-75% of what I read is science fiction, fantasy, and horror, uh, and mystery thriller. And the other 25% is made up of nonfiction, literary fiction, biography, memoir, graphic novels. Pretty much if it's got a good story and great characters, I'll read it. But I am actually trying to shift that balance a little bit. I'm trying, making an effort this year to read more classics and literary fiction and I have a couple of projects that I'm working on that I'll maybe I'll make a video about uh, later that are to help me broaden my uh, broaden my reading. Question number five. No, I just did question number five. Question number six. Who are some of your favorite authors? Um, Stephen King. Uh, I don't think anybody who reads horror isn't a fan of Stephen King. Although I recently discovered that I haven't actually read as much Stephen King as I thought I had read. I've started a lot of Stephen King, but I, but the number of Stephen King books I've actually finished is much fewer than I thought it was. Um, I recently uh, got into John Scalzi uh, in the science fiction arena, and he very quickly became one of my absolute favorite authors. Chuck Palahniuk is another one of my favorite authors. I uh, really love Fight Club. I love Survivor by him. But he, like Stephen King, is one of those authors that his books are pretty much either hit or miss with me. Like he, his book, Pygmy, I've tried like five, six times to read it, and I just can't do it. The the, the writing style, I just, I, I, I can't. Um, 
I've even tried it on audio and I can't get through it, but he's still just one of my favorite authors. Uh, question seven. What was the last book you read? Uh, the last couple books I read, actually, uh, on audio, I just finished um, The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith, uh, J.K. Rowling, and, and I just finished uh, The Dinner by Herman Koch. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. Um, and that one was okay. I loved The Cuckoo's Calling, though, and I'm currently listening to uh, the next one, The Silkworm. Question number eight, what are you currently reading? Well, like I just said, I'm listening to The Silkworm by Robert Galbraith, a.k.a. J.K. Rowling. Um, I've also got... <laughs> what am I not currently reading, really? Um, just a few things I have in process. I've got uh, Stephen King's It. Uh, I'm trying to get this read before the movie comes out in September, but it is freaking huge. I'm about 650 pages into it, and I still have just under 800 pages to go. Actually, a little more than 800 pages to go. It's like the size of four medium-sized books. But this is this is my white whale. I have tried to read this book three, four other times, and just the sheer length of it is intimidate intimidates me, and I end up stopping. But this is the furthest I've ever gotten, and I will finish it this summer. I will finish it before the movie comes out. And I think if I get through this one, no book length will scare me after this. <laughs> um, I'm also reading The Public Library and Other Stories by Allie Smith. This is a cute little short story book just uh, about stories about books and libraries. It's uh, actually for the Book Riot Read Harder Challenge, which I will probably do another video on and what I'm reading for that. Uh, which also includes All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Dewar. Uh, not fully uh, into what this one is about yet. I'm about 80 pages in and still in a lot of the setup. Um, I'm also reading a graphic novel. Uh, this is a graphic novel biography of Edward Munch, the artist who did The Scream, and it's by Stefan... Vernlin, I think is how the Google Translator pronounced it. Um, but this is, actually, I saw this at the library and I thought it was really cool that they there was a graphic novel biography of an artist. And I found out that there's a whole series of them. And the, the art is just really cool in it. Um, and uh, once I get through this, hopefully in the next couple days, because it's due on Wednesday, um, I eventually will want to pick up some of the others. Um, pro probably end up buying this myself, too. Um, definitely, there's one on Salvador Dali, who's one of my favorite artists, so I definitely want to check that one out. And that's a lot of what I'm currently reading right now. Uh, nine, what do you use for bookmarks? I actually, I bought off of Amazon, I bought this box of these nice, really cool Chinese art bookmarks. Uh... Just got little Chinese symbols up here. I'm sure they say something, but I have no idea what. But the artwork is just beautiful on them. And uh, that's what I use right now. I also have uh, a couple of these bookmarks from the author Jim Hines that I got at a con in January, a Confusion Con, uh, when I met him and got him to autograph uh, Goblin's Quest. But that's really what I use for bookmarks right now. I mean, I'll use anything that's lying around. Receipts, uh, the subscription, subscribe to our magazine, inserts inside of magazines. But it's nice to have those right now. Question number 10. Show us your current TBR pile. Oh, God. Well, it, some of it is behind me, uh, blocking, uh, blocking my monitor. Um, but... Things that I hope to get to really recently, and I'm only going to show a couple because I'll probably do a uh, TBR video too, but I would really want to get to The Obelisk Gate by N.K. Jemisin. I just finished the fifth season last month and thought it was outstanding. And I've heard that this one is even better than The Fifth Gate, so I'm really excited to get into this. And I have The Stone Sky pre-ordered for August, so I really want to get this one finished before Stone Sky comes in so that I can finish the series probably along with everybody else who's really excited for it and I don't get any end up getting any spoilers. 
Um, because I hate spoilers. Uh, Tad Williams, The Dragon Bone Chair, the first book of Memory, Sorrow, and Thorn. I'd like to get to really soon. He has got a new trilogy coming out set in this world. And I ended up getting all of the books in this series. Um, except Obviously, except for the new novella that just came out. But all of the Memory, Sorrow, and Thorn books I got on the freebies table at Confusion Con. So... I'm all set to just blast through this series, and uh, hopefully I'll get into it pretty soon. And another one I really want to get to really soon is Justin Cronin's The Passage Trilogy. I've got the whole trilogy. The third book finally came out in paperback, so I've got the whole matching set trilogy, and I know they are starting a TV show of this this fall. Uh, Mark Paul Gossler, Zach from Saved by the Bell, just got cast in it. So this what happens to me all the time. I have books and trilogies and series that I really want to read, and they end up doing a TV show about it before I can get into it. So now the pressure's on to read it before it starts so that I can actually watch it without ending up spoiling anything that's in the book. Um, I never started the Magicians TV series because I haven't read the second book yet, and I know the first season spoils things that are in the second book. So it's frustrating. But those are a few of the books that I really want to get to very soon. Um, and like I said, I'll probably do a separate video uh, with more a more expansive TBR of what I'd like to get to in the next few months. Question number 11. Which do you prefer? Hardcover or paperback? Ebooks or physical books? Owning or borrowing books? I prefer trade paperbacks. That's my... This is my preferred book. It's... It fits nice in the hand. It the the font is usually a little bit bigger. It's easier on my eyes. I do wear reading glasses, but uh, like I said, I'm almost 40, and it's probably going to start going downhill again. Um, so I do prefer trade paperbacks. They 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 move well. Uh, hard covers are tough to tough to read. I mean, obviously. Uh, I'll I'll read them. <laughs> I have several, but if I can get it in trade paperback, I'll usually try and wait for the trade paperback. Ebooks or physical books? I honestly like I I love holding a, a book, but I have a ton of ebooks too. Like usually I'm waiting for something to come out in trade paperback and while I'm waiting for it to come out in trade paperback Kindle will run a daily deal and offer it for a dollar ninety nine so I'm not gonna pass up a dollar ninety nine so I I really I don't have a huge preference of one over the other honestly I, as long as I can read it I'm a happy guy and owning or borrowing books I'm an owner um, I go to the library, I check things out, but the way I read does not work generally for a three-week library loan. I, I check things out on overdrive and they end up getting returned before I'm sometimes even 100 pages into it. And I can't check it out again right away because somebody's got a hold on it. And one of the things that always happens to me is I'll put a bunch of books on hold and they will all become available at one time. So all of a sudden I've got five books to read in three weeks. That doesn't really work for me. <laughs> so I tend to I tend to own books. I, I love the library and uh, that munch that I showed is a library book. But uh, I am more of an owner. Uh, what book or series got you into reading? Uh, that's... God, I've been reading as long as I can remember. I mean, I've, I remember reading the Pokey Little Puppy and the Little Golden Books. Um, but I think the books that really cemented my love of reading were the Hardy Boys books uh, when I was a kid. And I remember when I got the Where the Sidewalk Ends by Shel Silverstein. I read that and I, that's all I did that Christmas day was I sat and read that. And I apologize if you hear my cat meowing outside the door. He really wants in. But um, how did I discover BookTube? Um, I was really just searching for 
video book reviews and, and people who talk about that. Like I was into really into Let's Plays last year for, for gaming. And this January, when I started wanting to really get back into reading, I thought there's got to be people who talk about books on on YouTube. And so I just started searching that and I found BookTube and there I've stayed. Uh, 14, what challenges do you think you'll face with your own channel? Biggest channel, fat, biggest challenge I'm going to face with my channel, sorry about that, is getting comfortable in front of the camera, really. Um, I am a huge introvert. I mean, I'm an actor. I can get up in on a stage in front of hundreds of people and play a character, but to be myself, even to a camera, is nerve-wracking, to say the least. So actually doing this will hopefully help me get over some of that too and be more comfortable talking in front of camera and even more comfortable talking in front of a group a group of people in a conference room as myself playing a character is easy being myself hugely difficult number 15 where else can we find you link up social media um really goodreads i'll, I'll have my goodreads reads linked in, down below and on my channel i have a twitter account I don't really use it. I, I have always been one of those that doesn't really get Twitter. But if the if the channel really starts to succeed and do well, and get, I start getting a lot of subscribers, um, I I will make an attempt to get more involved in Twitter. Especially if I end up, you know, participating in readathons and stuff, uh, I'll I'll make an attempt to get more into Twitter. I have an Instagram too, but I. I've never taken a picture on it. I use it to look at other people's pictures, but I, I've never been a big poster on that. So maybe I'll maybe I'll get more into that if uh, if this goes well. And that's it. That's all the questions on the new to BookTube tag. Uh, thanks for watching. If you made it through, um, hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, hit the like button and. And subscribe if you want to, or if you're interested in seeing any of my further future videos. And uh, thanks for watching.